good morning guys I didn't even barely get time to do a good interview this morning I had that buck come in here he came to 20 yards right here and then skirted out to 25 yards the whole time he's coming through he just he was behind just a little bit of brush here a little bit of brush there and he uh, he never stepped out into any of my shooting lanes I mean that is absolutely as close as you can get to killing a giant and not getting it done <laughs> but that's all right I mean super super cool sighting um, he moved back off that way and I think I'm gonna stick to this same area for the rest of the day but uh, I may move my stand about 30 yards that way just in case if he comes back through and does the same route, I'll be able to have a really good shot. I think there's a tree over there I'm seeing that looks like it might be a good tree for a hanging hunt. That's all I did this morning was just come in and I knew the area I wanted to be in. I knew how, I knew where I wanted to get my wind right. Found a tree and set up and it dang near paid off. I absolutely love doing these hanging hunts. The last two good bucks that I've killed have been on the first sit. Um, so when you run and gun and do hanging hunts, your chances go way up. Those deer haven't been in here and gotten busted from other hunters or maybe they winded you and you didn't know it kind of thing. You're literally the first person to be in that part of the woods because you're doing a hanging hunt. So it's just a strategy I really like to do for the past several years and it's worked out pretty well but so yeah anyway welcome to day five of my vacation <laughs> it is november the 6th and if you're watching this my new fall collection has already dropped on the whitetail fit website so go check that out grab yourself some gear grab yourself a hat t-shirt hoodie that kind of stuff it's just whitetailfit.com and i'll drop a link in the description so you can go check it out also, if you're new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it for sure. And uh, I'm going to be kicking out just a ton of content throughout this week. You guys have already seen that if you've been watching thus far. Um, doing daily videos, semi-live series of my rutcation. So, appreciate y'all following along. And hopefully we see some more deer this morning. Well guys, here is my plan. I decided I'm gonna do an all day sit down in this little corridor, this little rut funnel that I found. And uh, here in about a half hour, I'm gonna drop my set down out of this tree. I'm gonna move about 30 yards in and set, hang the set again. I see a little clearing, a little opening there. This hedge apple's falling all around me. <laughs> I see a little clearing and opening there that he walked through this morning to get to me in this little corridor. I think I can get over there, still have my wind right, and be able to have a better shot opportunity if he takes that same route. So I need to do it quick. Um, so here in about 30 minutes or so, the wind is supposed to pick up even more than it is now. It'll kind of conceal the sound a little bit of dropping this stand down and moving it. I'm gonna hop right back up in it and uh, do an all day sit. Just hoping that buck comes back through because holy cow, he was big. <laughs> that would have been such a sweet deer to shoot. I got my hopes high though. I'm hoping he comes back through some point throughout the day or tonight. If not, um, we have generally the same wind tomorrow and you can bet your butt I'm going to be right back in this rut funnel hoping he moves through again.
Got the stand pulled. I'm literally, I am literally only moving this stand about 40 yards. But sometimes that's what you gotta do in order to try to get a shot. The trail that that buck took in this morning, if he takes that trail again, I'll have a shot out of this tree. But if he comes back through and does what he did, I won't have a shot out of the other tree. So sometimes all it takes is just a 30, 40 yard move. You might be able to capitalize, who knows. Keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that buck moves back through here. Or another buck for that matter. These are obviously good trails that they've been taking, so. <clears throat> it's a good rut corridor. I see a doe, crap. There's a doe right there. all set up in the new stand doing the all day sit there's a little possum right there <laughs> while I was hanging this stand I had a doe bedded back behind the tree and I got about halfway through hanging the stand and I hear this stick break behind me look back behind me and I'm like wrapping around the tree that doe's just walking walking right past me 15 yards didn't act like she saw anything so didn't bust any deer at all. The cold front that was scheduled for today is definitely moving in. Um, temperatures dropped, I don't know, a lot since I hung the stand. And uh, yeah, haven't seen any other movement. But uh, I have a good feeling about tonight. I feel like I'm in the right spot now. Um, if that buck comes in on the trail, here's the trail that that buck took this morning. That trail runs right down there. That is the trail that that buck took this morning. So, just hoping that that buck files back through here at some point. If he does, I'm gonna be ready. We're sitting tight for the long haul. Hopefully he comes through.
25 more minutes of light. It's prime time. Super, super windy though. Temperatures are dropping like crazy. It was like 58 degrees today. And uh, it's about 25 degrees now. It's supposed to get down to 19 degrees tonight. All the way through tomorrow morning is supposed to be in the teens. And then midday tomorrow is only supposed to be like 30. So, huge storm front rolled through. I'm hoping it gets that big boy moving. If not tonight, tomorrow morning, I'll be right back in this same exact set. Hoping that he does a repeat. All right, guys, I'm starting to run out of camera light. So I'm gonna start packing up here soon, wait out the rest of the evening, see if that buck comes through. But if not at dark, I'll jump down and uh, see you guys back at the truck. Well guys, that is a wrap on tonight and a wrap on day five of my rutcation. Um, holy cow, that was a big buck. Dang near gave me a shot. I mean, he needed to take another five steps and he would have been in one of my shooting lanes, but he uh, just came in, kind of checked things out a little bit, turned around and walked back out the way that he came in. The way the wind was blowing, I think he was just coming in far enough so he could scent check that little bedding area that was right there. But uh, I plan on being back in there first thing in the morning. We had a huge cold front move through. I've been expecting this cold front all week. I've been just waiting and waiting for it to come. And here it finally is. We dropped from like 58 degrees all the way down into the 20s and it's supposed to be in the teens by tonight. I'm gonna head right back to that same exact spot. Hope that that buck comes back through and uh, we can get a shot on him. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, hop over to whitetailfit.com, grab yourself some merch, get a hat, t-shirt, hoodie. I appreciate the support so much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Peace.